What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Paradine, and I'm back with more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In the last episode, we got our car running and started moving over to our safe house, and I was going to start unloading stuff off screen, but I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to go looting. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that off camera when I'm watching Critical Role. Ha! <laughs> perfect! It's perfect. Anyway. <laughs> Some of you are probably completely lost. If you haven't watched the last episode, like really, if you're watching this out of order, uh, you're completely missing stuff. I don't understand why people do that, but whatever. If you want to explain to me why you're doing that, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Shameless plug to let you comment. <laughs> to have you comment. Whatever, you know what I mean. I'm stupid. Uh, whatever. I'm just crazy, apparently. Well, I'm crazy today, apparently. Yeah, nothing. Right. Is this it? Did I literally leave you guys in suspense over a house that had shit loot? Wow. Perfect. Glad I could spend all that time doing that. Well, I said I was gonna go over to the next town. I meant it. We're gonna be doing it. Fuck it. Uh, we're probably gonna just go around it. We're not gonna go through the city. Cause if I went through the city, it'd probably be pretty fucked. Cause cars spawn, and sometimes they can spawn literally blocking the entire road. So, well, not blocking the entire road, but pretty much blocking the entire road, and it's practically impossible to get through that. So you know. Gonna have to do something about that. Uh, caffeine pills. Perfect. So gonna be dropping off all this stuff. Head torch. I think that's a. I think that's a flashlight that you wear in your head. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh. Okay. So we're gonna wield. Right here, and we're gonna get going. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. If you guys are new to this game, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check this game out. It's great. Uh, I couldn't recommend it even more. I ran into a berry bush. That's probably a really stupid move. I'm gonna regret that later. Now, whatever you do, do not run into the ants. Is that an ant? Well, if you, if you see ants, do not run into them. Because uh, A, there's going to be more than one. And B, they're all going to become hostile to you because you attacked one of their own. No. No, no, no. We're not going to go up there. Uh, there's turrets up there. And they can fuck your shit up. You know, I'm just going to pull up their bio. Because why the fuck not? Alright, so they know I'm here. Uh, I'm too far off though, thankfully. The General Atomics TX-1 Guardian, a small pill-sized automated gun turret, used state-of-the-art ATR, I don't know what that stands for, systems to dynamically reorientate itself to new friends and enemies alike. The two SMG barrels can swivel a full 360 degrees. Now, I don't know why they put portal turrets there, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, generally, you want to take these guys out from afar, and you want to do it when uh, it's night, because they cannot see at night. They have light that comes out from them. They can see up to that far, and that's about it. But they can't see much further. Thankfully, uh, they cannot see me. Well, they can't really bother shooting me from here, because I'm just too far away. Thankfully, how far away from? Kind of far, kind of far. Let's zoom out a little bit. You yeah, see, that would pretty much block up the entire road. The wind is making your head feel quite cold. Oh, it's you, whiny little bitch. All right, so obviously there's gonna be zombies around. They're gonna be following me, so they're gonna see me. 
you're gonna see something moving, they're like, oh yeah, the thing is moving. Right, what the hell is that? The S? Subway station. Uh, generally, when those are around, there's vending machines, and if there's vending machines, you can spend your money and get some cool stuff. Now, like I said, you don't want to go through the fields too often. You want to, you don't want to run into bushes because those damage your vehicle for whatever reason. You think your, you know, your frame would be high enough and you'd go right over them, but no, you just run into them. Alright, so I'm not gonna bother checking. See what's here. That's uh, no. That's that's uh. <laughs> That's some landmines right there. Uh, yep. Sign, danger, minefield. I don't know why they have minefields in this game, but they do. If you see signs in the middle of nowhere, most likely, that's a minefield. That's a minefield. That? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? Uh, looks like drug dealers. Yeah, bag cocaine. Brass knuckles, bag cocaine. Bag cocaine. Alright, whatever. We're gonna keep going. I don't wanna deal with that. That's. That. That. <laughs> that is not a radio tower. You can't tell me that's a radio tower. That's a small ass radio tower. I saw bigger ones, and they were closed by a fence. That one's not even closed by a fence. I was just like, well, fuck it. We're just making a thing here. Fuck it. Alright, so it says you're going 30, but you're going 29. Uh, it's just, you know, can't go exactly the speed you want. Obviously. That's kind of why there's a little bit of leniency when you're driving. That's why there's, like, a speed limit, and then there's... The speed that people drive because reasons well I'm swerving because I'm not used to driving too much oh what did I run into uh rams into shrub uh, okay whatever oh that is a hospital that's gonna be helpful uh not right now, but it'll be helpful later on. That was another boulder bush. That was a small boulder. That's definitely gonna fuck up my vehicle. I got some cobwebs over there, and there's some spiders coming towards me. It's fine. It's fine. There's a moose. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. All right, let's look. So we basically got this place mapped out, basically. There's a bank, there's a park, there's a hospital, there's another, oh, there's a radio station, there's a dojo, ooh, man, there's probably not going to be too much in there, there's probably going to be some geese and some gita, uh, you know, stuff, stuff and things, oh, no, 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 veer away from that, you're away from that. We don't want to deal with that. There's some turrets. Oof. Almost hit that boulder. That wasn't good. Alright. Now, eventually, we're going to get a good vehicle. Like, if you want, um... Well, it's not if you want. It's like, if you get lucky enough. Uh, you can come across rollers. You know, the stuff used for rolling concrete. Steam rollers, I believe they're called. Anyways, you can have those rollers on the front of your vehicle and you can literally run over stuff. This is fucking great. It's grand, I love it. And that's basically the essential for every death machine in this game. You just have one of those set on your well not one of one well, not one of those, but you have that in front of your vehicle, you're fucking set. You're set. Fucking set. Oh I stopped. I don't know why I stopped. Alright, well, we're gonna head back. Uh, I'm gonna unload some of this stuff. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it inside the, the house. I'm not gonna put it in the basement. That'd take too long. 
That take way too long. Oh, piss off. He reanimated because I didn't butcher him. I forgot about him. It's fine though. Okay. We're gonna slow down. There we go. I'm going to just let go of the controls because stopping the vehicle is gonna take a little bit. Now we're gonna butcher him. And now we're gonna see what he had on him. Nothing good. What about you? Do you have anything good? You had a flashlight. Perfect. 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 Alright. That broken iBot? What? Oh, it's just an iBot. Oh. I thought it'd weigh more than that, but whatever. Okay, so we're gonna turn around. No, we're not gonna go that fast. Ooh, this is very risky. Very risque. Uh, thankfully I did not run into the wall. Thankfully I did not run into the wall. There we go. Fuck. Alright, perfect. Stop. We're good. Stop driving. There's smoke everywhere. And because it's been raining... Uh, yep, sure, finish it. Alright, so we're going to get... Uh, the metal tank. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna drop the metal tank here. And we're gonna set up another funnel. Because why the fuck not? Uh, okay, we're gonna go in the advanced inventory and we're gonna try to find the funnel. Which this is all in alphabetical order, but by the way, fuck, I burped a little bit there. So if you don't see it right away, the F. Oh, you can't wear that. Oh, no. I didn't want to wear that. I want to put in my inventory. Fuck. There we go. One funnel. That's all I wanted. Hey. Funnel. Boop. So now I have two. Two. Counting two. 60 liter metal tanks collecting water. I'm fucking set. Considering I have like three drinks every day. Uh... That'll last me quite a long time, to be honest. I wouldn't mind a, uh, uh, a keg, but speaking of which, is there a bar nearby? I don't think there is. Because normally there's quite a lot of bars, but there's a lot of houses, which it's a little bit weird. Normally there's a lot of different utility houses like normally you find bowling alleys arcades a bunch of that stuff but getting kind of lucky here for reasons i don't know it's weird uh we're gonna eat some cheeseburger because it's gonna go bad sure finish it all right so i said i was going to well Uh, I guess I'm gonna go over advanced inventory a little bit. So like I said, you hit tab to switch between uh, lists. And if you want, I believe you hit space, that moves everything. Um, okay, apparently I lied. So don't bother listening to what I said, just, just hold enter down. Or you can tap enter, depending on what you want to do. That'll move everything. This takes the same amount of turns it would normally, but it's faster. In some ways. And I know it can get a little bit disorienting trying to figure out what's going on, but... It's the best I can do. I'm sure there's some other tutorials out there that uh, go over this in better detail, but... 
I'm not one of those deep, you know, uh, people doing those tutorials, so I can't really explain it too well. In case you couldn't tell, I'm really bad at talking, apparently. <laughs> Even though I'm doing this whole YouTube thing, which requires you to do vast amount of talking. Yeah, I know. I'm so good. <laughs> Alright. That's good. Uh, now, I'm kind of forced to put stuff in the vehicle here. But I'm going to be moving it out of the vehicle again. Perfect. No, no. I'm still need to go that way. I don't, I don't know why I hit that. I just did. Alright, perfect. So we're gonna hit tab two, tab six, and we're gonna. It's all gonna go over there. Now it's going a little bit slow. That's to be expected. Moving literally everything over to one area. It's to be expected. I believe you can hit question mark while you're in here. Uh, yeah. And this shows you how to do a bunch of stuff. So if I want to move all items, I hit comma, apparently. Hmm, that's cool. I don't know what space did. I think that just closed out of the inventory. Yeah, whatever. So I can literally do this if I wanted to. I go into here. Uh, I get hit seven, and then I get hit hit seven then I can hit five and then I hit comma oh I have to hit comma over here and it takes a little bit fills up there you go done now there is an option in the options menu where you can, uh, have it to where it closes the menu once you do that uh, I don't have that enabled because reasons yeah reasons uh, Basically, for doing this, this is one of the best ways to move stuff over a very short amount of time, personally. Not in the game, but personally. Like, real time. So, it's very easy. Very, very easy. Uh, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to do this. I'm going to hit filter, and I'm going to do cherry. Pick up the cherry. Can I just wanted to? <sighs> God damn it! I wish this was sorted. I don't think this can be sorted. Uh, I select all. Nope. God damn it! So I have to find it. Perfect. Uh, oh, you know what? I do advanced inventory. Huh, what do you know? Another reason why I should use advanced inventory. I go down to J. Uh, where is it? Should have been there. Oh, it should be plea. It should be P. I should be plea. <laughs> it's under plastic. Plastic jerry can. There we go. Pick that up. We're gonna put that in our inventory. And then we're gonna take the rubber hose. Cause I need one. I don't need two, I just need one. Cause I'm planning on uh, exploring a little bit. To be honest, I kinda wanna go up here a little bit. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing that until I get to 40 ish minutes. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, nope, wrong way. Wrong way. That could have ended really badly. Thankfully, it's literally just right across the street. Now, obviously, the more into the city you get, the uh, more special zombies you're gonna see, like spitter zombies and zombie hulks, which we have not seen. Thankfully, and all that stuff, but you know, we haven't gotten into that. Hopefully, we won't have to for a little bit. So this is what I wanted. I wanted the heavy duty frame, right here. <laughs> the 30 millimeter uh, chain gun wouldn't be bad too. Uh, 
see, we can hit O, and then we can remove the clock. Oh, and that should have, yep, give me a wristwatch, which I can wear. Ta-da, now I have time. Now I don't have to worry about anything. It's a really shitty watch, but it works. Really? Do none of these have clocks? That's that's weird. You, th you think I would have found one by now? Uh, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say if you search these, you can find some uh, Jerry cans. This one's leaking diesel. That's not good. Uh, and you know, quite helpful. Quite helpful. Now, tanks are really OP. Uh, I'm probably never gonna use one. I'm just gonna use them to uh, get the armor off of it and everything. And I know that's probably pretty cheap, but eh, whatever. Two by four. If you wanna call me cheap, whatever, I don't care. I'm punching stuff. Wow, I killed it.